Hey you guys, um, I'm trying to get some more light in here because this lighting is completely horrible. Gosh, we switched the beds around so, well I guess normally it was dim anyway, but God, the light sucks. Okay, maybe, that's weird. It's like, I think it's the glare, hold on. Oh, that's better. <laughs> well, anyway, it has been a crazy week, and I was meaning to update you guys on my 30th and 30th week of pregnancy with my twins this past Wednesday. But my sister got married yesterday. Well, it's 1 24 in the morning, so she got married Saturday, July 2nd. <laughs> so, shout out to them. Congrats, Anita and Joe. Enjoy the Bahamas. Um, and I was in the wedding. And I about wanted to fall out. <laughs> but it was well worth it. But when I got home, I paid for it severely. And I was dancing. I was excited. I guess my adrenaline kicked in. And I was like, man, I'm going to move. And I was dancing and everything. Everyone was like, you were just in pain? I said, listen. It's probably going to be the last time I get to dance until I pop these babies out. So leave me alone. But anyway, let us get started. So my 30th week, I actually had an appointment um, with the high-risk doctors that do the ultrasounds for multiple, multiple births. And it was pretty cool. It went pretty well. Um, the kids are... Well... They were. I don't know how big they are. Now I'm pretty sure they're bigger. But they were about 3.7 pounds each. I think my daughter was slightly smaller, but I don't remember. They, it was 3 point something, but I don't. They were 3.7 pounds each. Um, and that time, they were head to head. <coughs> Excuse me. Still breached. Um, there were no, there was no plan said about, like you know, any C sections being planned or what we were gonna do. Um, my next appointment with them is on the 14th, so I guess once I go to that one, we'll kind of go from there. The um, I'm trying to remember. Um, cause I know I didn't want to tell you guys the last video how big they were cause I thought I was going to be running into that week. But, um, let me see. I'm trying to remember what else was going on. Besides there's, besides like them getting bigger, they were, um, they, yes, they were still breached. And I'm trying to remember the positions that they were in. Cause the positions that they're in now, well that they were that they were in for 31 weeks it wasn't the same as the 30 weeks which is kind of funny um well either way the, ooh 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 somebody's doing something strange in there either way they my son was breached um let's see what kind of pains I've been going through well, my feet, my ankles have been starting to swell more often. Um, I do take my baby aspirin. Um, they have, I have not been told anything about me having pre preeclampsia. So I think um, it's just kind of getting to that point where, you know, they're gaining so fast and I'm putting more weight on my um, lower body that now my ankles and feet are starting to show it. So they swell up. Um, pretty, my right one swells up more, more than my left one. No, hold on, I said that wrong. My left one swells up more than my right. Okay, as far as that goes. Now I am still getting the severe pain, the shooting pain that I've been getting from like my thighs all the way into my feet. It's become worse so bad that it's hard for me to go I can't I can't go right to sleep like I'm normally up at this time because my it hurts I'll like get my husband to 
massage me if he don't fall asleep or if he act like he want to but um to, like to massage because my right leg has the worst pain it feels like I have arthritis and I feel so bad for those that do have that arthritis that are not even pregnant that are not even women that have it in their knees and, and I don't understand how they even how they take that pain because that is unbearable I've like held back tears to see how, how severe the pain has become for me um my 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 apartment is actually like a two level apartment I'm from New York we call those townhomes but out here they just call them two level apartments um so <laughs> I don't go downstairs unless I have to. So if my husband goes to work, normally the I'll go downstairs because obviously my kids need to eat. So I gotta make dinner. And I have no choice. And then normally I'll stay downstairs until he gets off, which is like mid after midnight. And when he gets off, I'll go back upstairs so he can help me. Whew. They're doing something like I finally got to like relax and sit down. So now they're like stretching in there and doing other stuff and that pain starts and the pain for some reason is worse when I lay down and I don't understand I don't understand why like it hurts it's, it's really bad when I'm standing up but it's it's worse laying down which is strange to me but who knows um what else to see? Acne bumps. Well, I won't. Mm, this and then right here. I'm like, really? And this one hurts. Oh my gosh! So it's ugh. it's like puberty all over again. Um, my nails started growing again. Um. You can't really tell with the nail polish on it though. But when I have it off, you go, oh, okay, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? I don't really experience the back pain. Most of most of my pain is on the bottom. It's like right in that hip, like in that butt muscle under the bone and straight into my feet. And it gets worse when it hits my knees. When it hits my knees, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's so bad when it hits my knees. Like, it just doesn't feel good at all. Um, I can eat, like, two plates of food now and not feel sick. So, yeah, that's helped. Um, at the wedding yesterday, I had, well, I had one and a half plates yesterday. Um just because so uh what else to see mm, I still haven't gotten a belly band yet um as I stated before it's just I guess other things have kind of taken priority over it and I'm trying to get ready for the try to get ready for Brandon and Harmony when they come so it's like I did go to Target and I had a gift card but I purchased stuff for them for what I needed for the babies. Like I didn't even think about what I needed for myself, which is my norm anyway. Um, my hair has been growing um, pretty well, which is good because I'm gonna um, get braids. So hopefully they don't come before I put braids in my hair. Now, am I gonna grow my hair back out? I don't know, but um, it has been been growing. I'm trying to think of what else has happened in my 30 weeks. But that doctor's appointment was one of, was, was the most exciting. And other than that, everything else was just body pains. And um, they have been constantly moving, which is amazing. So I'm excited about that. I rest and I lay back and and I'll put the I'll put the phone on my stomach, but they'll probably will stop moving.
see they start moving are y'all gonna move again hello hello really anyway so my 31st week of pregnancy I had my regular OB appointment with my midwife and <laughs> their positions were completely opposite now I was not originally supposed to get an ultrasound however I, I had um she did you know the heartbeats were like um I think I'm gonna say 150 something each um, yeah, about 154. Uh, still measuring between 37 and 40 weeks. So that hasn't sprouted yet. Um, my stomach has dropped, but then I think it depends on the day and what I'm doing because it'll be high up and then later in the day it drops. It kind of just fluctuates. I don't know what that's all about. Um, let's see. I had asked her, you know, about, I was just kind of asking her about the babies. Because, you know, they, most times they're able to fill. But I guess this is two in there. They're not really sure. So she did all stuff for me. My son, okay, somehow got his head, is like right here now. And his butt and stuff are down there. Like, and his feet and legs. And his sister is now head down under him like so it's as if they kind of switch places because he he's baby a and she's baby b but now it's kind of like she's baby a and he's baby b because she's lower than him she's closer she's closer to my my pelvic um bone than he is now and we knew it was, it was crazy because we looked and all you seen were these big old balls <laughs> You know, no one could not tell you that was not a boy, okay? And I was like, if you don't get your butt and your balls away from your sister's head, we gonna have some serious issues. So, but that's the position that they're in. Now, they've been doing these crazy movements. So I'm pretty sure they flipped again or turned. Because now I don't, nah, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, so... Um, same thing in my 31st week, you know, same thing as, as my 30th. The pain has become worse. My feet are swelling constantly. Um, I don't get really, I'm like, it's like I stay up, which is my norm when I'm not pregnant. I've always been that way. I've always just kind of been a night owl. I'll just like normally nighttime is when I would start cleaning. My parents just be like, why in the world are you vacuuming and cleaning your room? this time of the night because I'm not tired so I I was always one of those and I actually still am because my husband says the same thing like what are you doing why why it's all that noise for no reason I'm like I'm sorry like it's just therapeutic um so but it's but now it's kind of worse because you know at that time I didn't have kids so now I go to sleep and my kids can go to sleep late and still wake up at nine in the morning I'm like really you just went like and most times I get them to bed around 10 but I have days when that ain't gonna happen they gonna have to just go to sleep when I'm finished getting them together bath and everything done so sometimes they do go to sleep a little late and then there's times that I just don't give a dang on I'm like stay up yeah I ain't got no school so it don't matter and they still wake up like as if they had a great 12 hour sleep so, um, but yeah, my sleep pattern's off as usual. <laughs> Nothing out of the normal for me. Um, let's see what else. Braxton Hicks. <sighs> okay, so I get the ones where I feel like I'm out of breath. Like I have to like literally stop. And tighten. Now, if I'm doing something like if I'm up and I gotta walk around and stuff, I get the ones with the sharp pain, and I don't like those because when I'm not pregnant and I normally get like my monthly cycle, 
I don't get those. I don't get the cramps and stuff. I get the back pain. I get like back. It feels like Charlie horses in my back, which is interesting that I haven't felt that at all this pregnancy. Everything's kind of like, you know, front area, and it does not. It just it's just ridiculous. It does not feel good at all. It's like a sharp pain, and I'll just scream out. Um, getting out the bed is a challenge. That has become worse. Like walking, I had to at the wedding yesterday. We were walking, and like my sister was upset because she wasn't trying to have me out there that long for the photos. And my older brother and one of the best men had to hold me up because I almost fell down the steps. Um, my body, like I, it's, I was, it was not gonna work. And then um, when I'm at home and I lay down and I have to use the bathroom, like. I don't, it feels like weights are on your legs and you try to lift your legs up and your legs are like, not today. Like, I gotta use the bathroom. And then when I get up, my hips are like, heh, sleep. And I'm like, wait a minute. And I have to grab onto something because I almost fall. And I'm literally like grabbing onto the, like the wall and the dresser and stuff. And I'm like, listen, please, this pain is unbearable. I just want to use the bathroom. And come back in the bed. And then getting in the bed hurts. Or if I sit down too long. I did my daughter's head tonight. Like I. Well. I just twisted it and stuff. I'm like. Okay. I'm gonna sit down. Be good. I got up. And it felt like I was walking for hours. And I'm like. I can't sit down. For too long. I can't stand up for too long. I can't walk for too long. So basically. You telling me. I, I have to. Find a way to float. Because that's the only way. That I'm going to feel any type of comfort. Because I can't get comfort sitting down. I can't, can't, get, um, can't get comfort standing up or walking. So we're going to have to find a way for me to float. It's the only thing that's going to work. Okay? Which is ridiculous. Um, but <laughs> yeah, enough of that rant. But then that's about it. That's all that has happened in the past two weeks. <coughs> But I, obviously, you guys know I'm in my 32nd week right now. Um, I would tell you guys about it, but I'm already hitting 17 minutes and I ramble. So if I talk any more, it's going to end up being a 25 minute video. And ain't nobody trying to see it like. A show, so we ain't nobody got time for that right now. Um, but anyway, let me show y'all my belly. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, please. <laughs> I was laying down because my ankles and my hips, and then I gotta be careful because if I try to get off the bed too fast and my leg drops on the floor, it feels like my hip is about to detach and that's not okay that don't feel good so mm, hold on all right <coughs> oh whoo now i use the bathroom but hold on let me fix my shorts <coughs> Okie dokie. So, this is the belly. So, whew. For some reason, I feel like it's bigger because at first, I didn't have to go this far down for you to see my stomach. But, yeah. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will update you guys. I I guess my 32 weeks would probably be a really short video and it'll be by itself. So, because then I'll just do my 33rd and 
fourth week together because that would make sense. So, huh? My husband's calling me. So, <laughs> I'm going to go and you guys have a good night, okay? Bye.